welcome friends this is a course on waste heat recovery this course is useful to you if you are working in the field of energy engineering or if you are practicing engineering if you are also working in process industry then also this course is helpful this course talks about different aspects of what is waste heat recovery and how to achieve waste heat recovery from exhaust or from the waste heat which is generated in industry so if you look at the content of the course it is like this course talks about why waste heat recovery is necessary and then it talks about different mechanisms and methods to recover the waste heat normally active or passive type of waste heat recovery system is used in industry so both types of waste heat recovery devices are explained with their features and at the end of the course there is explanation that why waste heat recovery is not occurring as successfully as it should be so to start the course with there is first explanation that why we should recover the waste heat we know that waste heat which is generated and then not utilized it either goes with air or it is dis discarded in the water so in either case it is harmful to environment with the growing prices of energy with the rising of fuel price as well as availability limitations now it is required that even a small amount of waste heat should be utilized should be recovered so the the very concept of this course is to go for recovering all types of waste heat we know that either there can be a low temperature waste heat generated up to 100 degree there can be medium temperature waste heat generated up to 400 degree and above that is high temperature waste heat so different types of recovery devices are there which are suitable in this temperature ranges so all those types of temperature ranges devices are explained and their selection procedure is explained based on different parameters which are key parameters that decides type of heat exchange also how much heat is wasted in stream which is coming out of the industry that is also quantified and that calculation is also shown uh, conventionally known devices are recuperators regenerators they are explained the different configurations are also explained at that in this course air conditioning industry which exhaust cold temperature air so how to recover this cold temperature air in a re heat recovery well that is also explained use of heat pipe heat exchangers waste heat recovery boilers and thermoelectric heat generation that is also explained with this sri diagram many chemical industries go with this kind of an arrangement that is heat recovery steam generators so when this heat recovery steam generators to be used and how it works that is explained recuperative and regenerative burners that utilizes waste heat is shown economizers which preheats the water that is also explained then direct and indirect condensation recovery methods are explained and then finally at the end of the course there is a summary which shows that what are the features of all these types of waste heat recovery devices and as mentioned there are limitations of waste heat recovery that is also explained so if you are working in the field of any high temperature application this course will definitely be helpful to you let us go for this course save the environment save the world thank you, thank you.